fiberglass than it is to actual actors of mold. Tonight we are doing our first attempt at a mold for the floors because we need to have the pieces that go underneath the webbing. So instead of the awkward positions of trying to do it in there, we've come up with a system here that we should be able to do it and then fit it into the spaces later. So right now on our MDF board, I'm just going through and adding some packing tape so that it covers the surface. It covers the uh, cove that we put in there. And then once the uh, fiberglass cures, we can just pop it right out and put it into place. Try to wake up from a dream It's harder than it seems Birds are flying all around After eight years of the nomadic life involving crossing oceans in a 34-foot saber, refitting an aluminum boat, and then taking that to the Arctic Circle, we're back at it again with a brand new build. This is Matt and I'm Jessica. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us every week as we start our newest project of building a 42 foot catamaran from the ground up. And right now Matt is measuring out and is going to cut our fiberglass and uh, run away. I'm running away. Ha -ha. Our uh, cool little fabric cutter that we had, the little electric scissor things, has died. It's died. Unfortunately, it was, I think this was a little too much for it. So we probably are going to get one. They have like one that looks like a pizza, pizza slicer and a rotary one. And I think I'm going to give that a shot. Because we're going to be cutting a lot of fiberglass. We're going to be cutting a lot of fiberglass, and it's kind of a cool thing to have anyway. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've just made ourselves a wetting station here on the table, putting down plastic with the sticky back. We've got our eight layers of 1208 fiberglass with the top strand mat on the back, as you can see. And so we're just going to be laying them, wetting them, uh, layering them, and then getting all the air bubbles out. <laughs> Since our 1208 fiberglass is so thick, we needed to make sure both sides of each piece were properly wet out before we could put them together. Laying them side by side, Matt would coat them in polyester resin, a choice we've decided to go with for our flooring because getting vinyl ester resin at the time was quite difficult. Once the bottom piece had been fully wet, the second piece was put on top and a metal roller helped to smooth the two together as well as push out the major air bubbles. Wetting the top of the second piece, it was now ready to go to our mold. Dum, dum, dum. So Matt's going to put it down on this and then squeeze out any air bubbles with our metal roller. And man, is this stuff curing fast. You tell him the mistake we made? Not yet. So we did not mark our uh, fiberglass to see where the midpoint was, so we're just kind of like guesstimating. Um, we should have we should have a line down here. So what we should have done is run a line on the bottom of this MDF board showing where uh, half of the fiberglass is, and this is like six inches. So three inches out here, we should have marked a line, and then we know that like one edge runs along it, and then the middle point would be here, and then it evenly runs 
up there. Um, so these probably are not going to be exactly even, but you know, first they'll be, attempt. They'll be strong enough for what they are. Yep. And this is how we learn. Well, I've done this before. <laughs> No, this is my first time. This is how we learn after doing it like 15 times. Sometimes we remember and sometimes we don't, but... It has been a long time. It has been a long time and it's been extremely hot lately and our brains are kind of mushy, so we're going to blame it on that. So success, we popped the four off. Here they are, um, nice and strong, great, pretty lightweight still. Um, we did switch from the 1208, so the stuff with a mat on it, to just our standard 12 ounce biaxle for the next round, just to see there's a pretty significant weight difference between that and for this application, we don't necessarily need this extra strength that comes or thickness that comes with us. So we'll cut these down and we'll show you how they bond to the webs uh, soon.
weird angle, but uh, the first draft, as we can see, went well. Just need to, where the uh, coats are, just need to round out those edges, and then it'll hold those pieces in together, uh, make that fit a little bit better. I should have done that originally, because I know it, because I've had to do it on each one of them. Kind of cut off the edges a little bit, where it comes into a point. Uh, but I'll go back and actually do that, and then they should fit in there perfectly. Knowing that all of our webbing has now been made level from when Matt went through a few weeks prior using a combination of a rasp saw and our oscillating tool, we wanted to make a second mold from our MDF board which would help the 90 degree pieces of fiberglass sit flush with the top of the webbing once it was time to bond them in. Matt had made a few cuts with the board, which would eventually be put together in a cross shape to lay on top of the webbing. Adding clear plastic tape to the bottom, it would allow us to easily pop it off once all the resin on the fiberglass had cured. We knew that by having this mold in place as we bonded the newly cut 90 degree pieces to our foam cord webbing, it would help the top portion of the fiberglass match up with the webbing so we could have a fully level surface once we go to put the floorboards down. Tonight is a night to prove that not everything we do is about the catamaran build as much as we enjoy it. Sometimes we do take a night off, so we are enjoying the company of great friends tonight in the Bay Ridge area. Jeff and Cameron are having us over with a few friends, and we're going to shuck some corn, grill some steaks, and I think have a bonfire on this beach behind me later tonight. <laughs> I would just maybe throw it out. Yeah, I, yes. You know what this reminds me of? is when we were anchored outside of Melbourne, Florida, taking the boat down. It was just like that. It was just absolutely like this. Pretty much the same view and everything. That's the Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, like a camera. Good to me. You guys make up the best meal in this house. We like doing it. You know that, right? We do know it. That's why we moved here. <laughs> so tonight we are having dinner at the Bach household out in Bay Ridge, Maryland, which is an outskirt of Annapolis. Of course, you can see the beautiful Chesapeake Bay behind me. And what I really love about the group of people that we're hanging out tonight is that not only is everybody here very special to us and we've connected in very special ways, but that we've met in very different ways in different places, yet somehow we have all found our way together here tonight. Um, of course, Jeff and Cam were at their house right now. We've been talking through uh, Patreon and different services for a couple of years. They are how we found our build site in Annapolis and why we are calling this site home. We have Brian and Summer, who we initially met through Bobby of Sailing Doodles, became great friends. They're up from Virginia almost every weekend. They've been like our hangout companions. And of course, we have Bill and Grace of Calico Skies, who we initially met nine years ago this summer as we were sailing through the Erie Canal, out the Hudson River, through Manhattan. Saber owners, of course, and we've been in touch ever since and they've been cruising so it's just kind of crazy The sailing life how it brings all of these different people together and how you can meet at different stages in your life and in your travels and then still end up in a group like this 
Bill is supervising bringing the firewood down to the beach. I'll bring in a shovel down. Let them know to. Yeah. Uh, the guys are starting to bring some firewood down to the beach so that we can end the night with a bonfire, which since we arrived to Bay Ridge in October of last year, that is like Matt and I's number one request is to have a bonfire here tonight. And tonight it's gonna happen, so yay! One of them fell out, then they all fell out overnight. So yeah. we have them, is your best stuff or good stuff? It looks like you have a small plane going. I'm working on it. The wind is blowing and it's blowing it out, damn it. But I'll get it going. That looks like a pretty magnificent fire to me. It's getting there. <laughs> Isn't all of this just perfect though? I don't think Matt and I could ask for a better night off of boat work. Now that we had our 90 degree pieces of fiberglass molded and cut to size, the next big step would be to adhere them to the webbing in the hull in preparation for us to place the floorboards on top is the next part of the process. Although we'd already done a few sections just to test out how things would go, today we planned on working on the owner's hull, both fore and aft of bulkhead six. In the areas that adhered directly to the bulkhead, a level was used to keep the proper height going a beam as we matched up the pointed edge to its neighbor facing fore and aft. Then, since our MDF mold does not cover these areas, Matt made sure to keep it in place by drilling a small hole and adding a stainless screw. This will get removed later once the resin has cured. Moving forward into the area, which will be the hallway in the owner's hull, we could use our mold again to hold our pieces of fiberglass where they needed to be. For this project, we're using a thickened polyester resin to do the bond. Although we have been able to get more vinyl ester resin on order, this is an area it was easy for us to make a temporary switch until we can restock. As each piece gets coated in resin, it is set into place with the fiberglass being pressed firmly into the webbing. And just to make sure it doesn't accidentally slide before it can cure, we keep it attached to the board using a clamp.
so far, using all of these templates and molds has made life a lot easier for us and we can't wait for the next step of actually bonding our floorboards into place. Japan.